I'm Ted Berg for SNY.TV, and today's Know Your Enemy looks at the Phillies as the Mets visit their NL East rivals for a three-game set. Skyping in to talk to us today is Pat Gallen, Phillies reporter for 97.5 The Fanatic and editor at philliesnation.com. Pat, how are you? What's going on, Ted? How's everything? Not bad. Uh, a couple of the Phillies seem to be carrying the offense. Hunter Pence has been hitting real well of late, and, and Carlos Ruiz is just off to a real nice start. Yeah, both of those guys were looked upon before the season began to kind of carry this team while Chase Utley, while Ryan Howard are both out, and they're doing so. Hunter Pence kind of started off a little bit shaky, and, and people were worried, could he handle it? Could he be, you know, the, the cleanup hitter? He's done fine. A couple of home runs uh, over the weekend, and then Carlos Ruiz, you know, not that people around Philly don't think that he's great offensively, but he's kind of gone above and beyond right now, and they've actually moved him up in the order. So two of those guys carrying it. Also, uh, that you didn't mention, Ty Wigginton and Lance Nix, two of the offseason acquisitions. They've been platooning at first base. Lance Nix has gotten some play in left field as well. They've really given them a shot of power where they haven't had it uh, this season. So it's, it's nice. Two good pickups so far. I wasn't a fan of the Knicks trade or the Knicks signing, but it's worked out so well. Beyond the guys you mentioned, the Phillies offense, the rest of it really hasn't been so great. Yeah, beyond that, they've got a lot of question marks. Jimmy Rollins at the top of the order hasn't looked great recently. Uh, they're going to continue to put him at the at the top of the order. He's Charlie Emanuel's leadoff guy through thick and thin, but he's just not getting on base at a clip that you'd like to see out of your leadoff guy. Placido Polanco is starting to turn it around a little bit. Uh, he had really been struggling through the first month or so, has picked it up over the last couple of weeks, so that's good to see because they need that production from him. Uh, you know, it, it's been up and down at, at second base. They're putting Freddie Galvis in. They're trying Pete Orr at second base. He's not as great defensively as Galvis, so that's been a bit of an issue. But recently, they're starting to pick it up a little bit. They were really low in the rankings as far as runs scored in the National League. They've picked that up. They're now in the middle of the pack. Still no power. That's kind of the issue with them right now. Obviously, though, the, te the Phillies are a team built on pitching, and, and tonight's starter, Roy Halladay, Really not off to his typically awesome start. He's still been pretty good. Is there any actual cause for concern there, or is it a small sample size thing? Yeah, I guess you could say it's a bit of a small sample size. I mean, his ERA before the before he got shelled against Atlanta last week was like 1.7. So he had a bad outing. It happens. I think the Phillies left him out a little bit too long. I think they should have pulled him after he gave up that grand slam to Brian McCann. His numbers would look a little bit better if they had pulled him in that situation. But the guy's a beast. I know his velocity's down a little bit, but I wouldn't worry too much about it because he's one of those Greg Maddox-type pitchers that can basically place the ball wherever he wants it. He's going to stick around for a long time in doing that. So the velocity's down. I wouldn't worry too much. Maybe he's not the same Roy Holiday we've seen in the past, but he's still damn close. And tomorrow's starter Joe Blanton is off to a real nice start. Is there any uh, difference there for Blanton this year, or, or is that, you know, is things just falling right for him? I think a little of both. You know, I think that he's in the best shape of his career, and, and people in Philly jokingly call him Fat Joe, but he's really in great shape. I mean, he's dropped some weight, and I think last year he realized with the elbow injury, you know, I, I've got to turn it around. People are on me because the Phillies paid me a lot of money to be a fourth or fifth starter. It hasn't really worked out that way. His velocity's been up a couple of ticks, especially on his fastball. In his first start, he was up in the in 92, 93 range, which is unheard of for Joe Blanton. He's usually in the 89, 90 range. He just looks better. He looks more crisp. Um, so things are breaking his way, yeah, but I think he worked really diligently in the offseason to make sure that he would you know, produce when he came back. Wednesday, Cliff Lee returns from the disabled list to make a start. Do you think there will be any restrictions on him? Are they going to be careful with him in his first start back, or, or are, the, are the proverbial chains off him? I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty sure that everything's good with him. Uh, he threw a couple of bullpen sessions, and I think the DL stint itself was just precautionary. Uh, I don't think it was ever that serious. They're, that's the way they're going to have to play it this year, though, because they can't afford to lose Halliday, Lee, or Hamels for an extended period of time. So I don't know that they're going to throw them 120 pitches if that was needed, but I think the chains will be off, yeah. Pat, thanks so much. Thank you, Ted. Remember, for all the latest Mets coverage, be sure to check in at MetsBlog.com, TedQuarters.net, and SNY.TV.